everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a little Christmas one again. So we're going to continue that winter theme and that winter snowy scene theme and easily make that into a cute little Christmas card. So we're going to make this little birdhouse, little hanging birdhouse, and we're going to use the little birdhouse from the Blooming Birdhouse set. So you can see on here that this birdhouse has a post that it sits on. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, leave that off this time and we're gonna turn this into a snowy scene. So in addition to that, we're gonna need a couple of other things. So we're gonna use this dry branch here from the clay pot set. We're gonna use the little robin that comes in the, um, this is a flowery mailbox set. And then uh, one more thing, we're gonna use the little vine now from the foliage set. So just four stamps to make this really easy project. Super cute and super fun. And you can see that I um, added some glitter to it here. I don't know if it's you can see it really well, but I added some glitter to it. it just adds a little sparkle. And I'm also using the mask pen. So we're gonna use the, um, turn it upside down, uh, the Molotow uh, masking fluid pen. We're gonna use that as well. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start out by stamping the birdhouse. And we're not gonna put this post on here. So we're only gonna ink part of it. And we're gonna leave this the top of the roof off too. So the way that I do it is I just pretty much ink uh, everything except I'll leave that post off. And then I just um, take my thumb and just kind of rub it off like this. So however you wanna do it is fine. Just don't ink the post and don't ink the top of the of the roof. And then we're gonna stamp it right in the center um, of the paper, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, do the first step and that is adding the water. So we're gonna dip our brush in water, pinch it off, and we're gonna start by pulling the water, uh, the color out of the lines. So we're gonna do that right in here. And I stamp this in the blue because the house, the little birdhouse, it's 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 a snowy uh, scene and we're adding some color to it though. But this area here is, um, is snowy. So I started it out with the blue. You could start it with the sepia as well. Just kind of up to you. Okay, so now this area in here, we can pull all this color out because this is gonna be the shady side. And then in here in this little opening, this is gonna be really, really dark in here. Just pull all this color out of the line. Stay inside the line. See these two horizontal lines here? You wanna pull that color out and stay inside those lines. So you don't wanna drag that color all the way across the lines. It really makes a difference. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my fine tip now and I'm gonna really darken this little opening. I'll probably come back and do this again because it's really important that you can get this dark, dark to light light. That really adds a lot to the dimension. Makes it look three more, th way more three dimensional if you can go from dark, dark to light light. Okay, so now we've got this blue pen, so let's add the snow now to the roof. And you can see that on the original here, we just did a partial snowy line. So we're just gonna draw this in. Don't be stressed out by this. This is so easy to do. Just take your brush, or your uh, the fine tip of your brush, and just make a little snowy line, just like that. And then do the same over here, just a little snowy line, just like that. Super easy. And now you're gonna take your brush, and we're gonna just sort of make that, build that line up. So just follow your brush along that line and it's gonna pop this little snowy area up. See how that makes that look three dimensional? And the same over here. Okay, so now let's add some color to the roof. So we wanna show this roof underneath. So let's just add some color to it here. This is the number six brown, but you can use any and just pull a little bit of this color and just brush it in, just right underneath here. Stay away from the lines if you can, uh, because you don't wanna drag this blue color into the roof. You can add a little color now to this little perch. And then go back in again. As soon as it dries, you can go back in again and add more color, and you can just keep getting darker and darker under here. Just keep brushing this color in. Super easy. And we've got that all done. This in here like this. That looks pretty good. 
we can come back in now with the sepia. So this is a sepia in the fine tip. And we're just gonna add a little accent here. So just straight lines, just like that. And our little roof is done and we're ready to go on to the next part. So let's mix some color here. And on the original, I have some color uh, that I added to the birdhouse. Now I don't have a, a marker this color. It's sort of a weathered antique green. So I'm gonna mix that color. And I've got a really nice pine green, but it's a little too green. And so I'm gonna mix some of this blue with it. This is the African violet. And I'm just gonna mix these two colors together. It's gonna give me that old weathered green. So I'm gonna just combine this until I get the color that I like. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna brush this color onto the birdhouse. It's gonna be darker on this side. And remember, don't cross over these lines here. So take this now, this is gonna be lighter over on this side. Just brush this color in. And don't, don't, um, don't pull that color over clear to the lines. Stay away from the lines. And just kind of brush this in with your brush. Use, this, use the really fine tip of your brush and just kind of stroke this color in. See the tops of this little ledge here? If you leave that open, it's gonna look like the light is hitting that. It's gonna make it look way more three-dimensional. So, so avoid that top edge. It's really, really important to do that. And let's take a little more blue now and really darken this over here. This area on the side is gonna be way darker. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, so let's take the, um, let's take the blue now, this is the African violet, and let's put the detail in here. So just straight little lines Try not to make this too dark. Just carefully just draw these little lines in. And you can go back under here. This would be really dark, this little overhang here. And in my original, I added some detail to this little area and I'll show you how to do that too. So we can just come in here now and, and you see how this little scallop comes up to a point here? You're gonna you're gonna sort of make the offset that. So you're gonna make a little, another little scallop, just like this, and then you're gonna offset that one. And don't don't stress out about this. This is just the easiest thing to do. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Because we're just, you know, this is just the idea of it. So just use your fine tip and, and um, brush that in. And if and you don't have to, you can leave that out if you want to. Let's put a little shadow on here like this. And we're getting to be about finished with this little guy, super cute. And let's go on to the next step. And that we would be to add just a little water to this, just on the very bottom. So you just kind of follow those lines. That's gonna pop that out. We're just adding a little more texture to this. A Little more blue over here. You can always come back in and add more color. Okay, looking pretty good. We got our little birdhouse about ready. So let's go on to the top. So we're gonna stamp in here. Actually, let's do one thing first. So we need to we need to add our masking fluid. So we're gonna just put in some little dots here. So where we're gonna put our snow, and you just kind of put these little dots in wherever, however much you want. And this dries really pretty quickly. So at the top of the at the top, we're gonna add these little berries. See these little berries at the top. So we're gonna add those. So we wanna make little bigger um, circles at the top. And maybe in little groups of three. And maybe some more down here. So you're just gonna add a little more masking fluid so you have a larger area. And we'll just continue with the snowflakes up here. And that 
looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna pause now just so that can dry and I will come right back to you. Okay everyone, I'm back and you can see now that my uh, masking fluid is dry. So we're gonna go on to the next step. And we're gonna ink the, um, the little foliage and we're gonna stamp that at the top. So I'd only need a little bit of this. I don't need the whole thing, just the tip. And I'm gonna ink it a few times. And then again. And I'm using the green, so the same green that I used before. Stamping it in this in here just a few times. Oh, right over the top of that masking fluid. Okay, so now we're gonna add the water to it. And just kind of add the water, soften these little lines all around. Just like so, right over the top of that little snowy area. And the masking fluid is going to protect the white areas. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's add some color now around the birdhouse. So we're gonna add our sky in, and that's gonna be using our number 86. So we're gonna clean the brush off, and then we're gonna take some of this color. And you can make this as dark as you want, because the white C is going to be protected. So we're gonna see our little snowflakes underneath. Just brush this color on all around. You don't have to be careful with this at all. Up under here. Just all around. The more water that you add to it, the lighter the color is going to be. So you can go back over it again if you want to make it a little darker. All up in here. We can add some up in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's come in now with our little branch that comes above, and that's from, <clears throat> from the clay pot set, and we're gonna use the positioner because we wanna make sure that we get this in the right place. So we're just gonna use the little T-square, and we're gonna ink this up, and I'm gonna use the blue and the sepia. So I'm gonna put a little blue on here. I'm just gonna stamp it off. Stamp it off a couple of times here, and then I'm going to add some sepia to it. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp it into uh, my stamp positioner. And actually, let's go like this. Okay, so now I've got my little branch, and I can position this exactly where I want it. That's pretty good right there. So I can put this back, and I'm just going to re-ink this again with the sepia. I've still got enough blue on there that I'm gonna get that kind of cool gray color. Just like so. So now let's add a little detail in here. So we're going to we're going to just make a little wire that comes down, so just a straight line. Just draw a straight line down like this. And then just come over, make a little loop, and just come around like that. Okay, so let's now, um, let's rub all of this masking fluid off. So we can add in our little berries and we can see all the snow in the background. So we're just taking all of this off. This will rub off really easy with your finger. And in here now you can see those little open spaces and we're just gonna add the little berries in there and we're just gonna do that from the palette. So we're gonna take a little red now right on our palette. And we're just gonna brush in a little circle and leave a little highlight on here. Let me hold this up just so that you can really see that. See that little tiny area? Leave a little highlight in there. And you can use any red with this. I'm actually using number, uh, number 89 persimmon, but you can use any red. 
just brush this in, just use the fine tip of your brush and just brush in these little berries, super cute, just wherever. That looks pretty good. Let's just take the fine tip now and just make a little line underneath each one. Just a little line. Okay, one more step and we're gonna be finished with this. Let's add our little bird that's up on the branch. And we're just gonna ink him with the sepia. And use the stamp positioner again. Let's just make sure that we get this little guy in the right place. We don't want him kind of floating off the, off the branch. So let's use the T-square. And make sure that we get him on a branch. And that looks pretty good there. Place that back in here. And let's ink it again. Just like so. So we can add a little color to this guy. And after you use the red, just a reminder, uh, really clean your brush off because that red will stay in there. And let's take some of this brown now. This is the same brown we used on the roof of the little birdhouse. And let's just add a little color to this guy. And just a little, bring a little bit around his face here. Make it really light, super light. And then take your fine tip and really darken in that little eye and that little beak. And let's just add a little red to his little chest. Let that dry for a second and brush a little more on. And that looks pretty good. We can add another detail here if you would like. This is just up to you. But you can add some snow to this branch and that's just making little snowy mounds. Just like that. And this is the fine tip of the number 86. And then you wanna drag that color up and away. So you don't wanna pull this color down, you wanna pull it up. Just drag it up and away from the branch. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've got our little image finished. You can always go back in here if you need a little more detail. You can darken underneath the eaves. You can darken under here. Underneath here and again in this little area. And I add glitter to everything. So if you have a little glitter pen or a little Wicca Stella, you can add that to it. Make sure you sign and date. Put it on a Christmas card or put it in a little frame and give it away. You are gonna make somebody's day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.